Back here at home, some stormy weather moving through today. Take a look at this video where a hailstorm hit Matawan, New Jersey this afternoon and covered, wow, covered a man's deck. And then this, a water spout spotted near Seaside Heights. People sharing video of the spout right over the water there. Let's get right to meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch with the latest on our forecast. Vanessa, you love you love video like that, of course, when no one's hurt. But exactly. It is remarkable to see something that close. I know, and that one really seemed to last for a long time, which isn't always typical of water spouts. What we've done here on the radar is back it up to the time that that water spout formed over Barnegat Bay. So it was shortly after 2 o'clock that this one cell unleashed that water spout. Then it made its way out over the open waters. Thankfully, no reports of any injuries associated with this water spout. But you know, that can happen and, of course, can damage houses and, and many sort of things that are nearby, trees as well. So no reports of that happening. Certainly interesting video. What we look at right now is the current satellite and radar picture. And we do see some showers still streaming across the region, but none so potent as we had a little earlier today. And really, this is kind of the last gasp. Over the next few hours, showers will continue to fizzle out. As we look live outside right now, skies are mostly cloudy. It's 51 degrees. The wind is calm. A high today of just 55 put us 15 degrees below normal. It was raw and dreary today, felt more like March, but we do have a bit of a rebound in time for Mother's Day, but still not seasonable tomorrow. We expect 63 degrees to be the high when the normal high would be 70. On Monday, it is a high of 62. All the while, what's going to happen tonight, we still have about a 40% chance of showers. We're going to dry out and tomorrow morning starts off bright and beautiful. By tomorrow afternoon, the clouds have returned. Rain returns late tomorrow, lingers into early Monday. By Monday afternoon, we're drying out, and that sets the stage for a very pleasant midweek forecast. As far as what's happening right now, we've got low pressure that will make its exit tonight. High pressure builds in only momentarily, and then this area of low pressure out to the west, well, this is what brings the clouds in first for Mother's Day, starting midday, and then the showers will follow as we get closer to the late afternoon and evening. So let's break it down for you hour by hour. Visuals always help us to tell the story here. 7 o'clock tonight, still some showers, but they just kind of ease their way on out of here. By midnight, skies are mostly clear, and they're going to stay that way through Mother's Day morning. But by midday tomorrow, the clouds have made a comeback, and then the showers will follow. By 4 o'clock, I think we're already starting to see some wet weather, especially west and north of the city. Majority of the rainfall looks to be north and west of the city Sunday night into early Monday, but of course some of us will see some as well. It's not going to be um, a case where not all of us see rain. We're all going to see a little rain, but we're going to see majority of the rain north of the city Sunday night into Monday. By Monday afternoon, skies are clearing. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday look beautiful with a return chance of wet weather on Friday. Total rainfall again would be most impressive north of the city. We're looking at anywhere from a tenth of an inch to an inch of rainfall as we make our way late Mother's Day into early Monday. So tomorrow it's bright in the morning, beautiful for any AM activity, 63 with that PM rain risk. Again, 4 o'clock and beyond is when it gets soggier. Monday at 62 degrees, clearing skies, beautiful midweek in the mid-60s. Thursday looking good, Friday more rain in the mix. Jessica, back to you. All right, Vanessa, thank you.